everyone, my name is Vasutha. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be discussing 15 ways to encourage your kids to read. So let's dive in. First and foremost, we need to read ourselves. Our kids emulate our behavior. They imitate us, so we cannot expect our kids to pick up books if we have a phone in hand. So we need to first and foremost be their role models and we need to read as often as we can so that if we show interest in reading, our kids are sure to develop an interest too. Another way is to create a rich reading environment. If your kids are not fond of reading, then making a cozy space for them to read will encourage them to be attracted to books. So keep the background noise off, keep the TV screens off, put your phones away and just concentrate on reading. So if you can even make the effort of creating a reading nook for your child, that will encourage them even more so throw some pillows put in some cozy blankets or some reading socks and make that space warm and comfortable for your child the environment enhances a child's reading abilities if the environment is good if the environment is comfortable if the environment is quiet and peaceful and it is also a lively place then your child will be able to connect with reading even better the third way is to fix a time during the day and keep a fixed time slot find a time which is mutually convenient to you and your child it is very important to pick up a time when you are more relaxed and free and work around your child's school schedule as well and it's very important to stick to that time because routines help in giving a good idea to your kids also about what to expect from the day so you can either allot say 15 minutes in the morning or 15 or 30 minutes just before bedtime so make sure you stick to that time as much as possible and choose the duration depending on your child's interest and reading abilities and sticking to the time will help especially if you are trying to inculcate a habit of reading so that there is consistency so don't keep it open-ended or too flexible next way is to follow your child's interest when you are selecting books for them it's very important for us parents to know that we should never impose our choices on our kids so if we want them to learn to read we must respect their choices observe their interests minutely and pick up the books based on their interests you can even involve your kids in the process of selecting books. You can ask them what interests them the most. You can ask them what books they would like to read. And even if you don't get a response, don't be disappointed. You can still get them books based on their interests. So if your child is say interested in Lego, there are books on Lego. You can get them books with Lego characters. If they are interested in sports, for example, cricket, get them books about cricketers, get them books about cricket, maybe the history of cricket or some small short biographies of famous cricketers and so on and so forth. And most importantly, if you ask them about their choices and they give any kind of input you must respect their choices do not dismiss their choices even if it is comic books even if they would like to read something which you are not expecting them to pick up respect their choices acknowledge their choices and that way they will feel more respected as well next is to read with them now reading is not just a technical skill consider it as an opportunity to emotionally connect with your children 
get cozy with them snuggle them hug them when they are reading or if they are little put them in your laps and pick up picture books if your kids are small read picture books to them and because of the bright and the colorful illustrations kids are generally drawn to such books and if your kids are older even then you can read out books with them you can share reading paragraphs with them one paragraph you can read another your child can read and make it an emotional activity so it should not just be a technical skill that you want your child to be literate but make it a more warm and a cozy activity and if your kids enjoy spending that time with you they are more likely to be encouraged to read more often with you and when we are reading out loud to them they might interrupt they might ask questions and we need to be patient objective is not to finish reading a book in one sitting our purpose is to encourage them to be involved in the books and to build their curiosity i know it can get a bit annoying when you are reading a book and there are too many interruptions or too many questions the flow gets broken but our purpose is to encourage them to get deeply involved in reading and to build their curiosity another way is to keep the books visible do not hide the books away once you are done reading with them do not put them back in cupboards or drawers keep the books visible and keep them at an accessible place where your kids can also reach them so display the books make them visible because the more we see something the more likely we are to use it so when your kids can see books around they are more likely to pick them and you can even try making book baskets put them at some designated corners of your room or your house and whenever you see your child getting restless or trying to grab the ipads or trying to reach for the television remote you can always redirect your child to grab books from the book baskets and you can always change the books weekly in the book basket you can always refresh them and add new books to them another way is to talk about books to your kids and once you are done with reading you should always ask questions to your kids about the book about the characters about the story what they liked which character they identified with or what would they have done if they were a character in a book so even when the books are closed you should still bring references to the books whenever you see a context bring references from the books for example if your kid is grumpy and you've read something about a grumpy character in a book then bring references about that character remind your kids about the characters that they have read in the book remind your kids about the authors that they have read or the plot of the stories that they really liked and when we ask these questions to our kids then we help them to think and use their imagination another way and this is more for the older kids is to encourage them to keep a reading journal encourage them to maintain a reading log make a list of the books that they have read with the title and the authors and allow them to even write a few sentences about their favorite characters or what they like the most about the book or about anything that they enjoyed reading maintaining a reading journal would again help your kids to develop a connection with the books and not just read it and forget about it so when they write about the characters of the book the story of the book what they like the different aspects of the book and their own thoughts then it also helps them to develop a deeper connection action with books and also in their reading journal you can also suggest your kids to track down their progress and also see how many books they are able to read in a week or in a month 
another way is to encourage your child to make a personal library now this can be just a corner of your room or it could be a bookshelf ask them to make their own rules about borrowing and lending and encourage them to build their own personal library on a monthly basis or at regular intervals so you can buy them books at the end of every month or after every two months by doing so you are encouraging your children to develop a sense of ownership and responsibility another great way is to create book clubs for your kids or reading play dates with byobs as i like to call them bring your own books so try and connect with your kids friends and their parents and you don't have to make a very big group in fact the smaller the group the better it is to have a more intimate and a more meaningful exchange of ideas so make your kids in charge if you have older kids make them in charge and allow them to choose the friends they would like to have in their book club have regular meetings but because of the ongoing pandemic we cannot meet in person so you can also probably do online meetings maybe weekly or fortnightly or once a month and uh, if you have younger kids then you can connect with your mom friends and take turns to read books to the little ones yet another way is to carry a book with you wherever you go and it may not be so much applicable in the present scenario but whenever you have to step outside whether it's the doctor's clinic or if you have to wait in the car for some reason for a long time then consider carrying a book with you it's a great way to pass time and encourage your kids to entertain themselves without using the screens and i would even suggest to make a handy and a portable book bag maybe exclusively for your car which you can always keep it there with some coloring books or some notepad or you can carry it with you whenever you step out so this will convey the message to your child that books are the best companions and they can take their books along wherever they go another way is to use books for references so often times when we are reading something and if we want to find out something extra then we always use google the first thing we do is to say hey google or we ask alexa or siri i would suggest that you use books for books so if you are reading a story about say flamingos or dinosaurs and if your child is curious about where do flamingos get their colors from so instead of reaching out to your mobile instead of looking up on google it's better to have a reference book about birds with you so you can have books for books so, and if you want to find out about say dinosaurs if your child is reading a story about dinosaurs and they are cu curious to know more about say stegosaurus or triceratops then instead of reaching out to your phones have books about dinosaurs and that's why i say observe the interest of your kids minutely and get them books which suit their interests so if you know that your child will be interested in animals or dinosaurs or vehicles or any other subject then it's better to have more books around those themes and there is a lot more that you can do around books and it's not just reading but also doing books so you can organize a lot of games around books for example you can organize pretend play of your kids favorite characters from the books or you can also pretend play to be a librarian or a teacher at home or you could ask your child to draw pictures or scenes from the books that they have read or even their favorite characters you could even have your own family reading days 
maybe once a month or once every couple of months and your family members can also spend 30 minutes or maybe an hour sitting together reading their own favorite books another way is to exchange the movie nights with reading nights with a bag of popcorn or your child's favorite snack and a cold drink maybe and uh, you could even have reading and movie night together so you can probably read a book and watch its movie later also you can organize book themed birthday parties for your kids if you will you can even play book games some kind of quizzes or some kind of q and a's or maybe guess who kind of games with your kids around the books and their titles their authors again the characters and so on and so forth and a very important way to encourage your kids to read is to praise them is to reward them for their efforts never mock your child's mistakes keep your bar of expectations low let your child develop an interest in reading at their own pace and do not ever compare your child's performance with that of other kids in fact that would be extremely counterproductive to your purpose of encouraging your children to read and that would even damage and completely destroy their self image and their self esteem even before it is fully developed so instead praise them even if they have read just one page in 30 minutes that's all right praise their effort your praise will be their biggest encouragement and reward them you can even make a reward chart for them you can track their progress you can have a target of one or two or three books in a week or a month and reward them appreciate their efforts no matter how small they may seem at the beginning and do not penalize them the thing is that we are not their bosses that we expect 100 percent efficiency or a perfect job we are their parents so we need to encourage them we need to love them we need to show them appreciation for their work and their efforts even if they are not able to fulfill the target still reward them i mean use your discretion but at least definitely not penalize them and last but not the least give books as gifts we cannot expect our kids to value reading unless we make books a part of their special occasions we cannot expect our children to have a connection to books unless we make books a part of their small and big celebrations. So giving books as gifts is a wonderful way to encourage your children to develop a fondness for reading. And here I would like to introduce you to this wonderful mompreneur Tia Malhotra who curates these wonderful book gift boxes by the name of Words Up Book Box. And I let her introduce herself to you all. Hello friends, I'm Tia, the founder of Words Up Book Box. I'm here to introduce my small initiative to you. It's a unique subscription model wherein we would send a box to you at your home comprising a set of uh, three books, workbooks, one of English, one of Hindi, one of maths. There are a set of two reading books and a collection of five personalized worksheets. Now these worksheets have been made personalized bearing the name of the child to whom they are given to to basically try and engage the child in them, to pique their interest, make them very interested as if the worksheets have been prepared and is talking to them. These books are to assist the child in doing the school curriculum, in practicing it, in giving uh, 
a form of extra practice so that the child is at par with the other children in the class. They get practice, especially in these online times where it's difficult for a teacher to be able to put her point across to the students. We now have also started a second model, which is called the customized or the gift box. This is a very unique concept wherein we encourage the parents to give the gift of reading, learning and growing to their children or to other children. These are um, of multi-use. They can be used as a birthday gift. They can be used as return gifts on your child's birthday. They can be used to gift on occasions like Rakhi, Diwali, Christmas, etc. Or just a perfect gift to take to somebody's home when you're going to visit them. Now, our endeavor behind this concept was to remove all the effort, the time, the money which a parent would spend to go into a bookstore online or offline to find books for their children. Most of which, trust me, coming from a publishing background, I'm sad to say are a waste of money because they do not have good quality content inside. They're not age appropriate and are not very useful to a parent. So I'd request you to give our words of book box a shot. Get a good quality box delivered to your home every time you order. We deliver Pan India and from the positive feedback which we have gotten from the parents, I can assure you that you will not be disappointed. Thank you. So I hope you will place your orders with Tia and, and I hope you will give your children the gift of reading. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Do share your comments in the comment box below. Until next video, thank you and bye.